Hey everyone, Chris Fern here. I've got a quick little tutorial that I want to show you guys to uh, show you how to fix Mattel's Ghostbusters figures if the uh, the hoses break on you. Uh, I showed before that the hose on my Peter Venkman figure had broken off and I talked about how I might have a way to fix that so I fixed it. I wanted to show you guys the end result, uh, which is right here. The hose has been replaced completely. Um, I used a wire sleeve. I pulled the uh, wires out of it and then ran some fishing line through it and glued the fishing line and the hose to the, the pack and the thrower. And it's a really secure connection. It's also much more poseable than the original Mattel cord was. And I'd say it's at least as strong, if not stronger, than the Mattel cord is. Uh, it's actually a little bit closer to what uh, Diamond Select did with their Ghostbusters figures. Although I think they used some kind of a thread, but it's a very similar process to what they did. So I'm going to detail the process here so that if you have a pack that's broken or if you want to make yours match one that you've replaced, then you know we'll walk you through that. So we're going to do that with our Ray Stance figure here, which isn't broken, but I want to make all my Ghostbusters figures match. So first thing we're going to need is super glue. Uh, this is Loctite brand, but you can use whatever brand you're more comfortable with or have available. Uh, the, cu the cup here is just to give me a place to put the glue to run the, the pieces through. Uh, roll of fishing line, which I've already cut a length of, so we're not going to need this for this particular video. Uh, wire which I've already stripped the wire out of, so this is just the sleeve. And again, I've already cut a length of that, so we don't have to worry about that. Then the last two items that you're going to need are an X-Acto knife or some form of cutting instrument to cut the line and the wire, and then a thumbtack. Uh, you're also going to need the X-Acto knife to cut the uh, hose from the pack and thrower. So we're going to take the ray figure here and we're just going to take the uh, X-Acto knife here and quickly clip this off. If I can get it lined up. Hang on. Alright. So we'll just pop it off and then we'll do the same to the thrower. I'll just throw that aside. As you can see we've separated them. Do a little bit of clean up here. Alright. And then we're going to take the thumbtack, which is right here, and we're just going to Center it as much as possible on the uh, little post here. You want to leave that post, so just cut the wire that's like the cord that sticks out of it. Uh, you don't want to cut that nub off. I mean, I guess you could, but I like to leave it because it makes it a little bit stronger. And then we're just going to work the thumbtack in there. The first time takes a little bit of force, and we're going to do it a couple of times and wiggle it around a little bit to kind of get it loosened up. Alright, so we've pressed it in, and you just pull it out, back in, wiggle it a little bit. 
pull it back out, back in. back out and that opens up a nice little hole that you can maybe barely see there so that we have the hole opened up we're going to take the cup and we're going to put some super glue on the top of it or technically on the bottom of it and going to take our fishing line which you might be able to, yeah you can see that which is just run through the middle of the wire here and we're gonna just run it through the uh, bead of super glue that's up here and then we're going to nope not stick it to itself Put it in there and then I'm going to use just a little bit of twisty tie for spreading some extra glue on there but you want to put a little bit of extra on there around it and right around the base of it because you're going to glue the wire sleeve down I'm gonna press that in and just let it set for a minute. And already you can see that's pretty strong. Now we're gonna take the other end and actually we'll wait to clip that. All right, so we're gonna take the uh, thrower here and we're going to take the thumbtack and just like with the pack we're going to push the thumbtack into the thrower just work it in there you might have to twist it a little bit to get it in and then pull it out Push it in again, wiggle it about just a little bit, pull out, do it again. And this is just going to be opening up the hole so that the fishing line slides in a little easier. Alright, and you can probably see the hole a little bit there. We're going to Cut the fishing line. Uh, probably a little bit shorter than that. Alright, and we're going to run it through the super glue there and then beat it into the hole. And then hold it in place. And we're going to take the we're going to take the twist tie here with some excess glue and just slide it around. You just want to make that contact as strong as possible so that you don't have to worry about it breaking. And voila! It's probably gonna pull it out and redo it because it's a little bit long but that's all you've got to do to to do the 
Anyways, if you have to pull it out, just repoke your hole with the uh, thumbtack. So I kind of gauged it based on the other one, but that's a little bit long, so I'm going to redo that, but that's the basics of it. It makes a pretty strong connection, like I showed with uh, Vankman, and I'm going to come back once they're all done, and I'll show you side by side with all of them with their modified proton packs. All right, be back in a moment. And here's the full crew with their modified thrower cords. They, uh, I think they look really nice. I think they look a little bit better than the standard Mattel version. Plus, with them being, you know, strong fishing line, they should be stronger than the Mattel versions. So they can be manipulated a little bit to uh, pose with, but I think if need be, they can also be heated and shaped a little bit better than. The Mattel ones, since it's not a lot of plastic or rubber, it's just a little bit. I haven't tried it though. I find they hang a little bit, a little bit better in some ways than the Mattel ones. Uh, it just takes a little bit of finagling with the uh, posing to get them quite where you need them to be. But overall, I'm really pleased with these. They seem to be a bit stronger than the uh, the Mattel cords, and you know if you've just got you know, if you've got, you know, some old headphones or whatever that you can take the, uh, the wire sleeves from, and, you know, if you've got fishing line or want to buy it, that's not too shabby. I have the uh, fishing line for hanging the ghosts on my display shelf, so I have all the Mattel ghosts hung up by fishing line. But, uh, yeah, it's a it's a nice little easy tutorial and saves you a lot of money so you don't have to worry about replacing the figure if the pack breaks or doing any sloppy messy modifications these look pretty good and if you do them right they don't really look any different you know on inspection than the original so you know most people might not even be able to tell that they've been modified unless they know what the cord's supposed to look like. I'm debating on doing this to all of my figures or just doing it to the, like, you know, if one of the ones in the set breaks and doing it to the ones in that set, I haven't decided yet. But yeah, nice little cheap, clean looking modification. Takes about five to 10 minutes, not too bad. Uh, may do some more tutorials stuff in the future but this one was a nice, easy one that, you know, I could show, especially since I talked about the Vankman's broken hose before, so I thought I'd show how I fixed that problem and I made all the other Ghostbusters match. But uh, I guess I will talk to you guys next time. I'm not sure what my next video will be, but I'm pretty certain there will be one, so I'll see you then. Bye.